Hello, good morning. This is Hamid Khan here from Food Mahir and Gardening Ideas. And I'm going to take you through in the next few minutes to my clever climbers. And this is so beautiful. Madagascar jasmine. Madagascar jasmine is very famous. When I uh, prepared this uh, raised garden bed, because that part was very soggy. So I was worried about the future of my plants. And you can see this is so amazing. Now it is really flourishing well. It's been a few months since I have uh, these uh, shadow sleepers installed here. And uh, since then, uh, the progress is very, very good. This is excellent. I'll keep you posted. If you smell these flowers, This is addicted, highly perfumed. Unlike star jasmine, Madagascar jasmine flowers, you have to come closer to uh, uh, experience the nice uh, scented perfumed fragrance. Whereas in star jasmine, which is in that and then that really needs a good trimming. I have started pulling the branches down and trailing them down, but it needs a bit of a uh, pruning on that side. And I have, uh, another star jasmine which is here so i really enjoyed the star jasmine bloom in the spring late spring that was uh, very good so this needs some pruning i'm um, coming back from star jasmine to stephanatis floribanda madagascar jasmine this is uh, such a beautiful feature to your garden that uh, is unexplainable okay next to that I have planted a new one and I have posted a vlog about it. The vlog that I've posted almost three months ago at that time, it was very tiny. So I got some comments at that time that this is a very bit slow grower. Well, and I, my comment is that if you plant it in a fertile, well-drained soil, it just goes and trails up very fast. So you can see here, this is so beautiful the way it is twining and twisting so this is how it is going from here and it is just twining and twisting up and similarly here so this is next to madagascar jasmines but the good thing about all of these climbers that they are well contained they don't really go very harsh and aggressive and spread aggressively and this look at this one so if, again the foliage here is just so amazing so i can also now what i did these two uh, branches i have just directed towards that end so i can do the same here i can direct it here and tie it and then they will just go uh, and similarly this one i can just take that up so that we can have a regular pattern there they also look hanging very well as well so i might leave some hanging but look at the leaves here it's so fresh lush green so look at that so uh, have a look to my three months old vlog about this one and this is an excellent addition i'm so happy that i've added this climber to my backyard Madagascar jasmine, also known as Stephanotis floribanda, and its large, waxy, white, highly fragrant flowers. They are also used in wedding bouquet, and they are flourishing very, very well. Not only that, I'm so much addicted to the shape and the color of the leaves that I can't even explain it here. I'm not sure if this video is justifying it, but if you see its large, flat, green foliage, it's amazing. So I had to remove the one that I had it on that side because I have to build my shed. Um, this is pomegranate. Um, some good progress in the last few months. It's not going that bad. This is kaffir lime. Um, the leaves are a bit affected so i have to spray some maybe some eco oil but this is uh, not bad these uh, cafe limes are very good for uh, 
zest, lemon zest, to use it into different dishes in your salads. And uh, this is this is excellent, perfect, and going very well. You see here the way it is trailing up it is so perfect, perfect. The villa is close to Bar of Beauty, which is uh, Pandoria jasminoides. This is one of my favorite clever climbers, the Bower of Beauty. It is famous for its very well contained shape. It does not spread all around so aggressively. You can trim it down. So that's why I'm not worried about planting them. I'm almost uh, I'm more than a meter apart and I can always direct them. the Bower of Beauty on this side, on the left hand side. So the Bower of Beauty which is uh, very new here but you can see here the way these are the branches are twining and twisting the lettuce is just amazing again if you see this has just grown in the last few months so pretty cool again it needs a well-drained soil i love these pink flowers i'll share the link of the power of beauty or pandoria jasminoides uh, that i have uh, posted earlier so that you can compare my previous ones Here is another dwarf lemon, so plenty of lemons are hanging, see here, and so that's also not bad, and this is also dwarf uh, guava, which is going very well, good progress. Uh, not getting enough time to uh, tidy my deck, uh, but it's certainly, it's getting into shape. We need to give its due time to flourish and be a bit more patient. Let me show you some other plants on this side of my house. The progress. Uh, Autumn Joy or Sedum Spectable or Sedum Spectabelli. This is again a fantastic uh, and succulent but as i said today's um, program or vlog is about my clever climbers and i am just addicted to this madagascar jasmine or stephanatus floribanda look at this look at the leaves here look at the new leaves the green leaves or foliage are excellent um, so and large white waxy leaves which are used a lot so i had covered it a bit during the summer it's autumn here in uh, sydney now so i can afford to get it direct to sun here it needs a bit of a protection and care against uh, the afternoon sun uh, but this is uh, a beauty again um, i'm expecting in the next season it's gonna really do very well And this is all from my side. Keep watching my channel, Food, Mother and Gardening Ideas. Until then, ciao. Here is on this side, I have a two meter side walkway where I have planted another bower of beauty, Pandoria jasminoides, it needs to be tidy up. I've been trailing these down. You can see here the way these uh, are being directed to us uh, downwards again so that I can spread it across. This is uh, a bit older than the previous one on my backyard. This is a sideway. It's a bit of a mess here but uh, I need to really tidy this up a bit. We have a view of this one from our kitchen window. I'm just waiting for the flowering season. Mm -hmm.